Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. So, I thought, because I'm going away in a couple of days, hence by the mess of my room, I thought I'd give you five travel tips of things that I do when I'm travelling, because I've been in a lot of trouble, and these things have helped me. So, I'm a frequent traveller, as some of you may know. I, last year I went abroad a few times, and for an 18-year-old, that's not normal. Why do people decide to make noises when I'm recording? I'm a frequent traveller, so I forget to experience a load of different things from backpacking to staying in nice hotels in the middle of cities to roughing it. I thought I may as well explain what tips have really helped me to get through my travel experiences and to make sure that you have a good time. So my first tip is knowing how you are getting there. And I don't mean that you are going by plane or by train or by bus or by car. I mean be specific. Why do I mean to be specific? Because I've been to Bulgaria. I went to a place called Karnabat. Oh, you've heard of Karnabat. No, you haven't. No one's heard of Karnabat. It's a town in the middle of Bulgaria. That's probably the best way to explain it. But what I mean by knowing exactly how you're getting there is because I went by first class train. Yeah. Second class looked even worse, so I'm glad I didn't go in that. Tip two. Know how much to tip. So this was in TGI Fridays in Penn Station in the middle of Manhattan. Put it this way, it's embarrassing when you are at the table and your father in America tips $2, thinking that's a good tip. There's nowhere else to go wrong, is there? In fact, the waiter came back and asked about his service, and I went, Dad, how much have you tipped? Also, when you travel, and this is my third tip, take a couple of essentials. And what I mean by essentials are these five important things that I have with me, bar one, travel wash. And what I mean by having one lot of travel wash is that I actually have four lots. My second one is having spare currency, preferably not 5,000 Turkish Lira and five new Shekwalim from the Bank of Israel. What I mean by spare currency are one of the four, and I probably shouldn't be promoting the last one, but it's still one to have. Dollars. US dollars go everywhere. Second is the British pound note. So, British people, remember your pound notes. Third one is the euro. Again, big currency. And if you've got one of them three, it generally helps. The fourth one, cigarettes, it's a currency. People will have them. My third tip is pen and paper. Yes, I've needed it before now. Just remember Carnabat. My fourth tip is documents, preferably uh, photocopied documents like your passport, driving license if you've got one. School card even may help because it actually proves your identity if you've got a photo on it. Anything like that and remember to take things like bus passes and things. Although you can't use them abroad a lot of the time, they are photo ID in some cases. And finally, and this is a very important one to me, masking tape. Let's just say that when I was in Croatia, my tent may have uh, broke one of the poles. And all of these, apart from the photocopied documents, touch wood, I have actually used on a trip because I've needed them. My fourth tip is to learn some bits of the language. And I don't just mean like Dovidania in Croatian or Uno, Dos, Tres, Cuatro, Cinco in Espanol. But what I mean is learn some bits of the language that you are going to maybe need. You can learn some things like Gracias, Messi or Hashtag Molin because they are always helpful. But you also want to learn some practical stuff. Trust me, I've needed it. Eta dal yeko des toda. Deasiat kilometro. And some of those words are pretty useful. I'll give you another one for you. Yone gonovorno poruskia. And it will save you from embarrassment. And my fifth tip from travelling 
is one that is very important when you travel. Enjoy yourself. Without travelling, you wouldn't get to see the world, you wouldn't have things to maybe talk about, or in my case, vlog about. But travelling is about enjoying yourself, it's about experiencing new things, seeing things that you won't see in your own country, and just relaxing a bit. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video anyway. You may have noticed that the last couple of weeks I've not really been putting videos up, or not as much. I've had exams on at the moment, and I'm also getting ready to travel and I'm going away. So when this video is going up, which is Friday, I'm hopefully going to actually publish this, fingers crossed, on Norwegian Airlines, flying on my way to Malaga at 35,000 feet. So when this is published I will probably be on a plane, but I'm making sure that I've got plenty of videos up and there's going to be a video every Friday now at 5pm or approximately UK time. Things may change when I'm on holiday a bit, I will try and get it up on the Friday basically. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't, make sure you give me a rate. If you want to click subscribe there, that gives you straight subscribe to my channel. My Twitter is above as well which you can follow me on Twitter, especially when I'm travelling, and I've been posting on there a lot recently. And my Snapchat, which I've also been posting on, is also there for you to uh, follow me on Snapchat. New videos every Friday. I'll see you next time. Bye.